Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to create a textured painting on canvas using modeling paste and other texturing materials I found around my house. A list of art supplies I used in this video can be found in the description box below. First, I primed the canvas and painted it black, mainly for filming purposes. It helps with any autofocusing issues with my video camera. I also added black paint to the modeling paste for the same reason. Spread a thin layer of modeling paste over the entire canvas with a palette knife or spatula. Scratch patterns into the modeling paste with the tip of the palette knife. and then arrange twigs and plastic leaves in the modeling paste. The plastic leaves come from glittery holiday decorations that I was going to toss out, but then I decided to recycle them and use them in my art. The plastic leaves here were attached to a stem of glittery red leaves. I just pulled off the leaves from the stem and soaked them in hot water. And then it was easier to scrub off the glitter. Making this textured canvas painting is a long process of many small steps using different art techniques. When you have the abstract pattern you like, just let the canvas dry overnight. Once it's dry, apply gesso to the entire canvas to help the plastic leaves and twigs be more paintable. and then allow the gesso to dry for a few hours. And once the canvas is dry, apply acrylic paint to the dry textured canvas with a flat paintbrush. I used white, aqua green, Prussian blue, and brilliant blue. And that was in Liquitex Basics paint. Blend the paint colors on the canvas as shown. and allow the paint to dry before continuing. Highlight the raised texture with acrylic paint 
You can use the tip of your finger to apply the paint easily. Spot our canvas with a little blue paint and allow it to dry. Once it's dry, you can seal this with a matte varnish. And here it is, a textured abstract painting using modeling paste and other recycled materials. You can use this texturing technique to create your designs and you can choose any size canvas and paint colors. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below with any questions and suggestions, and check out the description box for an art supply list and more info. Thanks for watching Studio Silver Creek. Have a great day. Bye-bye.